This is Bob. Bob hasn't been feeling like himself lately, so he goes to a psychiatrist. The doctor diagnoses Bob as clinically depressed. Bob now goes to therapy and takes meds. After a while, Bob starts to feel like himself again. This is Bob's friend, Sue. Her doctor also diagnosed her as clinically depressed. Sue's psychiatrist not only listened to her symptoms, but also factored in her biological information, known as biomarkers. Here's how it works. Very simply, a biomarker is any measurable indicator of the state of a body. So it's like when you have a sore throat and the doctor swabs the inside of your mouth. That not so pretty bacteria on the end of the swab, that's a biomarker. Some medical experts believe that detecting more complicated biomarkers could lead to quicker and more accurate mental health diagnoses. Meet Dr. Alexander Nicolescu from Indiana University. He's working on a blood test that could help predict suicidal tendencies. His test may indicate suicidal thoughts in psychiatric patients with a whopping 97% accuracy. And here's Dr. Joshua Chiapelli of the University of Maryland. He's collecting hundreds of saliva samples and testing them for levels of kynarenic acid. He believes that an uptick here could indicate a type of schizophrenia. And across the pond, Doctors in emergency rooms are using neuron biomarkers from head injuries to predict brain trauma like PTSD. So back to Bob and Sue. Two similar diagnoses, but two very different ways of getting there. While Bob's doctor used symptoms to detect what was happening with him, Sue's doctor factored in her biology. Using the additional information that biomarkers provide could eventually be the key to unlocking some of the mysteries surrounding mental health.